my name is Akiva Goldman and I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates. Uh, today I'd like to talk about mistakes that people make uh, in a divorce. It could be specifically men, although I suppose women could make the same mistakes too. Um, but I think you'll find this information helpful and if you do, subscribe to our channel where you're always giving out helpful educational information. Today I want to focus on mistakes men make and, and there's a couple things that we see over and over again which are tactical uh, and strategic mistakes. I actually just got a call from someone who called me up and said, we sold our house, the husband um, took all the money, it's in the bank account, husband just called me up and said, hey, I took out all the money and sent verification that he removed all the money from the proceeds of the house. I think that that's a dreadful mistake because in a divorce, what you want to do is try to get the court to give you an equitable distribution of all the assets. Those are the keys. You want an equitable distribution. Equitable doesn't necessarily mean equal. A lot of times it does. Sometimes equitable, which really means fair, sometimes it's fair to give an uneven distribution. Well, when would that be? Well, I'll tell you when it might be. It might be, for example, when somebody tried to, for example, steal or pirate all the assets away from the other person. Immediately when it becomes a land grab and, and one party starts grabbing all the assets, taking all the proceeds from the house and hiding them, they think that's a good idea. You know what? It's not a good idea because the court's going to find out. And when the court finds out that you deliberately took 100% of the assets and hid them away to try and grab them off for yourself, the court is likely to review that in a light very unfavorable to you, okay? So we want to avoid that. It's one of the mistakes that men could make in a divorce because um, a guy might think, well, I, I do primarily all the work. I should primarily get all the money. The law doesn't work that way. And I want to educate you and tell you that that's not the best approach. What you should do is if you're in a situation where, let's say you sold a house, now all of a sudden there's a lot, there's 200,000 in equity sitting there in a joint account. You should, number one, consult with your attorney on how best to handle it. I will tell you this. I never tell my client, take all the money and run. Um, I think the moment you take 100% of the assets, you're going to get yelled at by some guy in a black robe, and it's not going to fare well for you. Having said that, if you take half the assets, which you're probably entitled to anyway, and you put those away, and you let your spouse know, I want you to know, I took half the money in anticipation of our divorce, I put that away from me, the other half is still there, that's your half, I'm not touching your half. That is not likely to cause some uh, judge to yell at you. In fact, it's likely to look like you're trying to be as fair as possible. That will bode well for you in the future, that does speak well for your position. I think that's a better way to handle it. It's always better to ask for permission than forgiveness, remember that. The moment you take all the assets and the judge starts yelling at you, you've got to ask for forgiveness. That's the wrong approach. The better approach is, since you're probably going to end up splitting it anyway, is to be above board. Be upfront with it. I know it may rub you the wrong way. I know you may not feel that that's the right thing to do, but in the state of Michigan, we're basically we're looking at an equitable distribution of assets. It's very unlikely that the court's going to come up on its own with a distribution that's unfair unless somebody tries to take advantage then the court will very likely come up with something that it deems fair but fair might not be equal so you need to bear that fact in mind a key mistake that people could make is trying to immediately grab all the assets in, in, in that way let's try to avoid that let's do the responsible appropriate and take an equitable approach to this in the long run you'll fare much better doing it that way if you have any questions reach out and of course we'll be glad to help you out